how yeah. would you increase the caster level? It's actually a simple fix. They don't even have to change the way that the game works. They just have to change the way that Titan works. Yes. Um, caster levels, you would have to change the game for a certain regard in that. Ideally, caster levels would be character level. So if a spell scales up to caster level 10, it would be character level 10. Yes. So regardless of what you're... Like, as soon as... If you chose level 1 Sork, then something that maxes out at 10 would max out at 10 regardless oh, yes. of any other class choices. Both. Yes. The damage I would have scale with the character level. Mm-hmm. And the DCs you would have to take heightened for. I think the problem with that, the only problem I see, is that... Um, you know, classes like the Paladin would have an easier defensive time than the Sorcerer would. So that's why they did it the way they did. But honestly, the Sorcerer is not doing so much more damage than a two-handed fighter at this point. So we're going to have to at least make some changes. If you don't nerf the absolute hell out of the uh, the strike through, if you don't just nerf it into the ground like it deserves, then you're going to have to allow for people to be able to keep up in the damage in the early levels. Because a strike through dude can one-shot pretty much every mob in the group pretty much throughout their entire leveling experience. Like, I don't think that that's actually saying too much. Sword, I'm a sworded board strike through tune, and I'm damn near one-shotting everything in existence all the freaking time. Mm-hmm. So where are we all? Because we're supposed to be in House Fiarland. I'm on my way there. Alrighty. Just to keep an eye on all y'alls. Um, all right. Uh, I'm waiting for it to slow Yeah, me. I just got whiny, whiny kids. That's why I'm like, I'm going to have to get going soon. But we could do two more. That would do it, yeah. Are these quick? Very. Oh, okay. Now, these, uh, the idea of the caster level would help scale things better. If you need to change the damage of the spells, they've already buffed the damage, so they can nerf the damage again. Like, that's just numbers. You can just go through the spell and say, now it does X amount. That should not be a difficult change at all. Numbers are just numbers. Uh, strike through is problem has actually got nothing to do with numbers. It's no, like the mechanic I'm itself. Spell damage yeah. is numbers. Yeah, strike through's problem is actually the mechanic itself. Mm -hmm. Um they they tried scaling back the numbers. That didn't remotely fix the problem. No, it actually made it kind of more egregious because then it it displayed just what was going wrong. Yes. So it actually told you, "Hey, not only did you nerf the numbers and that didn't do anything, but strike through has just manipulated all to hell from something else and you're not addressing it." Which actually makes the problem feel worse because then it's like we have to wait for another pass for the pet the fix that you tried to implement the first time. But yes. you didn't really understand what was breaking it. And that's the big thing. Yes. If you don't know what's breaking it, and we kind of have deduced what that is, or what most likely that is. Where's the whiny? He went the other way. Oh, he didn't go up the ladder. Oh, I was I'm looking for I seen you guys there, I just didn't Yeah, we're up a ladder. Yeah, I'm just killing an arcane skeleton. That's all. I didn't want him free casting. That would be a thing. Oh, there's the ladder. But, um, yeah, no. It, strike through's brokenness comes from the fact that you can apply full mod, full damage, full effects to everything around you after a certain amount of time. I know it's like four mobs, but if we're going to be fair, how many more mobs are you going to fight in your standard group? Like, a standard group of mobs is five mobs. Right, so you're only hitting four at a time means you're pretty much hitting them all. You're pretty much hitting them all, and you're doing all the damage and all the effects. You can stun them into helplessness pretty much all the time. Did you get your ladder? Nope. Yeah, whiny, if you want to climb that and just grab the uh, yeah, lever that's up there. What I'm doing. Then we kill yeah, this troll, good. steal his Quick key, shot. or well, actually, no, we don't steal his key. We just open a lever there. Yeah. All right, get him. But yeah, no, it's. Strike through is busted in pretty much every way, and that's the most obvious bust. There's traps all over in there, by the way. So let's see here. Uh, we'll get rid of these guys, I guess. First things first, let's just... Trap here. Yeah, my spot's not high enough for them anymore. Uh, is it here that the box is? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, I see them. So that's the oh, first one. It. Wait. Do I pull that lever? Nope. I'll just wait up here. Why can I not search? Why? Oh, I'm lagged. Oh, oh that that's was a hard what's lag. going on. It's super big lag. Okay. There should be another box around here, right? Whatever. 
Uh, here, pull that lever. Uh, do you want me to touch it? Exactly. Uh, oh, I didn't die. Wow, it lags so here. badly. All right, just wait well, a moment. I didn't. I didn't die. That's good. I'll just get the trap on this side. This is silly oh. lag right now. This is actually making this dungeon a little scary. There it is. The, the, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, go through now. Howdy, nerd whiny. I. All right, so yeah, no strike through is broken by itself, by its very nature. Yep. It's whatever the mechanic is itself is what's breaking it. So, scaling a number back is not gonna fix anything. I think if they could do one times their mod in damage and still strike through would be amazing. Yep. No, and it's because you're hitting all the things. Yeah. Like, you're not really deal. doing one times your mod in damage. No. You're if you're hitting four things, you're actually quadrupling your damage. Well, you're you're spreading the damage out amongst everything around you. Yes. Bunch of dudes. And this should be the second troll, and then we're done. So kill him off, and we're good. Alright. And that isn't super necessary. I just hit it for the reason. We can actually just recall out. Well, that was, that was tough, boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, scaling has gone a little further. Even wolf form is able to deal with this dungeon, so... So I'm going to say that this dungeon's pretty straightforward, and so are most of the other ones. So are most of these easy ones. So next place we want to go is right beside the guild ship. And that'll be... Uh, I don't even know what the dungeon's called. Because I like the attack speed boost. Oh, it's that one. Um, and I like that they just don't have access to strike through. Just, just... I actually like wolf... A lot for that reason. I hate bear just because they have access to strike through. Like I won't play yeah. them. Uh, but by the same notion, I'm the guy who also wouldn't party with alchemists. So, like I saw what they did the first time, and I never partied with an alchemist again. And honestly, even now, if I see an alchemist, I'm kind of on the fence about whether or not I want to even do the dungeon. Are we going in the tavern? Or? No, no. There's a little hubcap right beside the guild ship. You just go in it. It's like oh. a level... Oh, yeah, because you already went in. It's level 8, because... Yeah, okay. But even then, like, I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to party with alchemists. If it's me leading a raid, I actually would denounce them, I think. Not because they're overpowered anymore, but they are still pretty powerful. But just because of the future... Or the... the just the future. The past that I had already seen from them. Yes. They were so busted before that I actually don't like playing with them in any the regard. The type of player that wants to play as them, considering there's really no lore attached, I know they're not doing it for um, flavor purposes. Trap here. I don't know if it's around the corner, though. No, it isn't. Good. They're doing it for flavor purposes. I know that. Yeah. No. So, so part of it's the type of person that's gravitated towards that. Yep, it's the easy, I can win with this character kind of person. Yes. The kind that doesn't require lore, that doesn't require more substance to their class. Trap here. Oh yeah, there it is. But that just requires ease of access. I think the trap's yeah. over here. It is, too. Oh, there's two of them. I think there's traps on every one of them, actually. So I might have needed to search there instead. Yeah, there I see is. all four, right? Eh? Yeah. So, boop. Alrighty. Yeah, to me, they're definitely the worst. Like, In terms of lore, I would say they are the worst class in the game. What the hell? I got all four. I know you did. Uh, we still have a glitchy one. Did I blow it up? Oh, I didn't even... I wasn't facing it, I guess. Oh, that's obnoxious. There we go. We're good. Alright, it's good now. I did give you guys resistances. Oh, much thanks. It didn't do any damage to me anyway, but... Yeah, I just temp HP'd through the whole thing. Yeah. But no, I mean, in terms of lore, I think the Alchemist has the least amount. Even Fighter has more, and that's saying something, because Fighter has basically no lore. The whole point to Fighter is that they're just, like, effectively kind of a merc for hire. 
is what they've always come across as. Fighter, fighter is actually my favorite vanguard. I think for the same reason that Wolf is your favorite druid. For not having brokenness attached? Yes! It's <laughs> it's because I'm purposely just gimping myself. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it's for no reason. I mean, I guess actually less of a reason. Although I do like some elements of fighter. I just don't like Kensai. Kensai is the worst tree, I think, other than Sork trees in the game. Yes. Like, it's just, it's such a dull tree. It's amazingly dull. I don't even know how people can enjoy it. As a, as a flavor or as a gameplay sense. I mean, yeah. I can understand, like, being powerful. When, when I look at the wolf tree, like, there's only one tier 5 in the wolf tree. I, like, don't, that mez me. Hmm. And which uh, was that? Uh, the one that just gets 30 temp HP or whatever, whenever you do something. Oh, the passive one? Yeah. Yes. After using Jaws of Winter? I don't think that's yes. a meh, because Jaws of Winter has a decent minute-long cooldown, which means that that's only up half time. So even then... Isn't it only like 30 temp HP, though? Isn't it like... No, you gain 10 times your character level in temp HP. What? So at level 30, you gain 300 HP. Okay, so it's like Blood Tribute. Yeah, it's basically like Blood Tribute. But it's kind of like everybody's got one of those kind of things now. They've always got a, an HP booster now. Yeah, although the Occult Slayer's Vampiric Bond is all fucking awful. Mm-hmm. 30 temp HP, that's just garbage, garbage scaling. Then again, the Barbarian hasn't been noticed ever since, and the worst part is they still scale better than almost every class in the game. Oh, they're... they're... Trust me, Barbarian's at the bottom of the list of classes I would address. I would address like, them for flavor, but I would not change the, the damage modifiers or anything like that. I wouldn't bother with that. You guys want this, uh, uh? Yo. Is this treasure chest up here? Oh, uh, we didn't go in there. We're out. Yeah. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. Yeah, we didn't bother with more treasures. All oh, right, okay. so right now, Joe, Yo. for sixes, we need... Valix Museum. That's the one in Dolores, isn't yep. it? Yeah. It's the longer one. Uh, return to Dolores. We need all the witch doctors and all the iron mines and the bounty hunter. Okay, iron mines are easy, and so are the freaking if they're we're doing root, chronoscope they? and devil assault. Then we still need those two. Otherwise, we're done. Yeah, that's not bad. Wow, we're awesome. I think we could get these. I think we could get the sixes done tomorrow and chronoscope. Mm-hmm. I would say so.